Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Oh, sorry about the long wait in between videos. Uh, I was just about to um, render the, uh, the last two videos I uploaded when the power supply on my computer exploded. And it took me a while before I could buy a new one, and then I got the new one, and I didn't hook it up properly, so the fans weren't working, and I was afraid to render anything with it because I didn't want everything to overheat. So, uh, without further ado, we're finally out of Japan. Uh, we're not leaving Asia just yet. 47, this is Agency Diana here. So far, no news on Father Vittorio, but we've got a neat little mission for you in Malaysia. In Kuala Lumpur, you will find the headquarters of a very talented hacker and kleptology expert, Charlie Sijan. He has managed to steal an extremely valuable piece of software. It works as a key signature in military software, and was until recently the exclusive property of the U.S. government. With this nifty piece of software in the hands of an adversary, any incoming missile would be detected as American, which renders an otherwise clever missile shield worthless. Our client wants to retrieve this piece of code and exterminate Charlie Sijan and all records of this code. He's running his business under cover of a company called Kari Juarez Incorporated Computer Systems, their network is completely sealed off and inaccessible. Your objective is to assassinate Charlie Sijan and place a small dongle on the main server of Carniwara's incorporated computer system. This device will allow outside access to the systems. There are guards with intercoms everywhere, closed-circuit surveillance of all areas and elevators, metal detectors and reinforced steel doors with electronic locks. Your target is in the second basement. Continue from there with the direct elevator to Kani Juarez's main office. You will have to shut down some of the surveillance systems by the elevator. The only visual identification we've got is this footage of Charlie. It's from his sixth birthday. From what we know, you should be able to recognize him from this. Get your equipment in locker number 137. Find Charlie Sijan in the basement area. Kill him and access Kaniwara's by the direct elevator. Okay, that was quite a mouthful, and that's because this is kind of a, a long stage. Um, but it's broken up into little mini-missions. So I, I really like this, uh, this Malaysia set of missions here. I actually played ahead for about an hour or so to get an idea of what I wanted to do. So let's take a look at the additional files we got here. And I guess that's our target as a little kid. Hmm. It's not very coordinated, and I guess it kind of makes sense that he turned out to be a programmer, right? It's also a little disturbing that we're, uh... We're... We're about to kill this guy, but first we're watching him as a child having fun. And of course, that's just the same guy. Um... What else? Um, area map. Right, so, um, we're going to head in here, get our stuff. Then we're going to create a little distraction in the laundry room. And then we're going to head downstairs. And, uh, I believe our friend Charlie's down here, so that's where we're going to go. Um, right, a couple things bothering me. It's, it's not... Carney Juarez, right? It's Carnawares, right? As in wares that are carnivorous, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of bothering me. Also that and Malaysia. Ah, okay. So we picked up this beauty in Japan. I'm not sure if we'll use it, but I'll keep it with me anyway. Combat knife. It's very effective. And what else? There we go. And I think that's all we're going to need. Uh, I'm not going to bring the anesthetic. Hmm. Wow. Quite impressive. No time to enjoy the view. My work is underground. Right, so... Hmm. Lots of people around. We gotta get through here, but there's security scanners. 
aka uh, metal detectors, so yeah. Hmm. Alright. First things first, we gotta get in here and get our stuff, but we're not allowed to be in there. Hold on a second. That was close. Huh. It's a lot of pasta sauce. Alright. It's kind of odd. I didn't, uh, didn't expect them to run away. Right, so anyway. Here's our stuff. Oh, it looks like I didn't need to bring a silence gun after all. Might as well pick up this ammo. Oh, can't hold anymore. Alright, whatever. Um, first time I tried dressing up as one of these guys, but really it's pretty much pointless. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. I think he slipped and fell or something. Come on, you bastard. Come out. Up uh, that could have been a little quieter, but I think things are going, uh, going well. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, stop snitching, lady. All right. So the fire... Oh, there it goes. Fire alarm's gone off. And they're shooting at me. Great. That wasn't supposed to work like that at all. Jesus. Okay. Um. No, and everyone's pointing. And that wasn't supposed to go like this at all. Huh. Okay. Hey, guys. What's up? Um. Huh. I'm one of you guys. This is really strange. Alright. Um. <laughs> Not sure if this is gonna work now because um, the firemen were supposed to. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to work like that at all. Um. Okay. Oh, let me let me try that again. I'll cut out um, I'll cut out some stuff. I'll see you in a minute. So sorry, you know the right for access. Okay, all right, um, I understand. Right, so I did that much more smoothly this time, and we're ready to go. So when that fire alarm goes off, we should be able to sneak into the the firefighters uh, break room area, and there we go. And uh, masquerade as a firefighter, undetected. There we go. Right, um, you can also dress as a pizza boy, but that way is kind of tedious, um, and I don't feel like doing it, so if you guys have the game, you can try that out for yourself. Alright. Alright. Nice. Let's get an axe, too. These things are really fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. 
Make way, people, make way. That's a hero coming through, ready to save the day. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, don't 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 mind that beeping sound. That's just my axe. Yeah, he's saluting me. That's because I'm a hero. I put out fires for a living. Okay, uh, go this way. I think, right? Was that the right way? Shit. Um Went the wrong way, I think. Did I? Okay. It's easy to get lost. And, uh, oh, here we go. Alright. Alright, we'll take, I'll take care of that later. Okay. So, that computer back there is, uh, I don't know, some sort of security system that is hooked up to the elevator we need to escape, so, uh, yeah. Down here is our friend Charlie, all grown up. Uh, he's got quite the nerd layer down here, so we gotta be careful. <clears throat> okay. Wow, must be quite a lock. It's taking a long ass time. Okay. Du -du -du. Right. He really likes his, uh,. Kinky Cola. Huh. It's odd. Must be some sort of uh, Malaysian knockoff, right? Chips. Potato chips. Wow. So anyway, I guess this is kind of a low-tech security uh, uh, device meant to warn him of <sighs> assassins coming in the night, but... I gotta say, mo most uh, most hacker people they they go for you know lasers and uh, various trip wires, claymore mines. This guy sticks with potato chips. Ha! Die. You fat Agency, bastard. this is forty-seven. I've got first objective down, but something weird here. I'm pretty sure he's got a twin brother. Forty-seven, this is Diana. Let me run that through the database. Keep on track with your mission, and I'll get back to you as soon as I check this out. I'm watching him on a monitor now. Is there another apartment in the complex? It looks as if he's in one of the buildings. Please check if Carniwaras has another address here. There it is again, Carniwaras. Pretty sure it's supposed to be Carniwaras. Oh well. <laughs> Die, you bastard. I'm gonna have bacon tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. That's fun. It's really fun. Uh, let's see here. Man, look at these monitors. Look at these things. You could kill a man with those things. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, one thing to note. This monitor here is bulletproof because uh, otherwise the, the cutscene wouldn't make any sense. In case you couldn't tell, this is actually supposed to be live video feed, not just a still picture. Yeah. You're gonna die. What? Wow. <laughs> Kinky Cola makes really hard glass bottles. That's old school shit. Before they went to plastic bottles and cans. Um, right. Anything else to say? Oh, yeah. Well, it's starting to get into summertime. I'm really making a push to try to finish this game so I can do something uh, more exciting you know for the summertime um yeah right and also I neglected to buy an air conditioning unit like I promised myself I would so I'm sitting here sweating my ass off I had to turn off the fan because uh, you know I can't let that interrupt my my commentary right uh, what else? Yeah. Actually, the weather in Boston hasn't been that bad. It's been a little humid, because there's been a fair amount of rain. I got a slightly different job. I still park in cars, but now I get to spend a little more time outdoors. So, um, yeah, uh, doing all right. Lugi la! Lugi la! Lugi la! Does that have something to do with, like, spitting loogies? I don't speak, um, 
I think the Philippine language is Tagalog or something. I mean, I think there's more than one Filipino language. Wait, oh fuck, I'm so such an idiot. It's Malaysia, not Philippines. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. Malaysia, what do they speak? Malaysian? I don't know. Okay, huh. We're a professional, nice. Two enemies killed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to sneak past that last guy. I was thinking about it, but not too hard. 47, okay. this is Diana again. We checked up on your last information. It seems you're right. But first, let's stick to the assignment. You must place the dongle on the master server, situated in a locked and air-conditioned room. That way our client will be able to access the system and retrieve the encoded information. The only way to access the room is by use of the system administrator's key card. On this floor, there are guards patrolling at regular intervals. Some staff will be working late, hopefully also the system administrator. Check out the map for an outline of this floor. Happy hacking, 47. <clears throat> okay. Right, so, this level's pretty simple. Once you know what to do, of course. You gotta head in here to the kitchen, first of all. And, uh, I don't know what this camera's doing looking at this coffee pot, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of that. You know, it's kind of weird, the things people point at webcams, you know? Never really got that. So anyway, here's the layout. It's a pretty small level. Um, we want, we're waiting for this guy to come into the kitchen with us so we can take care of him. Now, this guy's a VIP. He's also white. Literally white. He's the only white guy on the floor. And that's very useful to us because, uh, well, I think we're probably the only white guy in Malaysia right now. So, yeah, he's going to mosey on over to the kitchen. So, uh, what we want to do is want to get over here and get to this key card, which will let us into here so we can plant the dongle. And then we're going to head on across the sky bridge to the exit. I'm not really sure what the significance of the air conditioning room is. We can get into there if we get up a key code, a key card from here. But uh, I'm not really sure what turning off the air conditioning and overheating the servers really does. Um, yeah. So anyway, he's almost here. I'm gonna tuck my duck down here so hopefully he doesn't see us. Boop. You're done. You're done, son. And, uh, I'm not really sure if this is going to make any difference, but I'm going to drag his body over here. There we go. <laughs> right. So, anyway, I'm going to head in through here. Oh, well, nothing to see here, boys. Just a white man. Hmm. A white man that looks like any other white man, really. Nice beret, pal. I really like it. The, uh... The fuchsia really brings out your eyes. Okay. Right. So, I'm gonna head on through here. I believe there's a guy in here. Wait, is there? Yeah, he's over there. Um... There he is, playing Counter-Strike or something. You gotta work, you bastard. Just because you're working on a graveyard shift doesn't mean you can slack off. Alright. I wanna head this way. No one's in here, that's good. And let's get the key card. There we go. Okay. And, uh. Yeah, I wanna get back here again, so I'm gonna head back this way. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Right. So there are a couple of lock boxes on the walls here. Um, one of them holds a pair of. Uh, right. 
One of them holds a pair of uh, night vision goggles. They don't really have much use in this particular stage, but they will have a... Uh, I can probably walk past that guy, right? Yeah, just gotta act cool, act natural. Okay, or maybe not. Maybe I've just screwed myself. Hmm. Or maybe not. Okay. Right, where was I? Right, um, the night vision goggles would be useful, but as you'll soon find out, um, uh, the night vision goggles will do a little disappearing act when we get to the next stage. For some reason, so I really don't 47. understand. This is Clea speaking. Diana's not here right now, but I Where'd see the go? device is working properly. Now you must access the sky bridge to reach the other tower for a completion of this mission. Okay, what happened to Diana? She needed like a, a bathroom break or something. Maybe there was an emergency at her daughter's school or something. Oh, I'm sorry, that was absolution. You're right, it hasn't happened yet. Oh boy. Um. Where was I? Right, so the night vision goggles do kind of a uh, disappearing act in the next level. Doesn't make any sense, and I don't understand why you would need... Oh god, someone's running. I must shoot him. Better get out of here quick. Hey, boy, come on in. Now, no matter what you do when you break the glass, you will... Uh, Ruffle some feathers. Oh, Jesus. Uh. See if you can get this guy from over here. Nice. Boom. No survivors. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, boss. Here it comes. Oh, cutscene. pouring in. Ha. I knew I could break into this piss ant system. Uh. Looks like the software code's already been passed on. Say what? Where? To whom? Hang on. Tracking. It looks like a server in India. Peace dish. There's nothing on that India. screen at all. Yeah, it says so right here. Mudak. Not by a chance a server in the Punjab. Er, yeah. Smack dab right in the middle of Punjab. Chart. Called by my own customer. They let me find it, then nigga ran out of my nose. Lousy smashing son of a him. And the chicken shit, bitch! Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess that was that Russian guy that was in the beginning of the, of the game or something? I don't know. Oh, that programming guy sounded really bored. But his American accent was phenomenal. I think I mentioned this before, but I've been studying Chinese for the past few months. Kind of a... A, uh... Hold on a second. I think there's a cutscene coming on 47 Diana here an insider oh, has informed back. us that your bonus target is indeed back a twin playboy break, lady. with a passion for cheap women and expensive art he's got plenty of both including an extremely rare and valuable 16th century statue so security is tight I'm just outside the penthouse now looking in it looks like there is a twin I will proceed as requested those are the orders are you absolutely sure that this is Charlie's twin? Yes. Definitely looks like him. Although he behaves differently. Uh, All right. yeah, Our I think client it's... would prefer mm -mm. it if you could make this look like a simple burglary gone bad. So kill him, steal some valuables, and escape by the elevator. Yeah, a simple burglary. A burglar who climbs up on top of a gigantic skyscraper in the middle of a, sn a, s a rainstorm... <clears throat> kills him and only him and steals some stuff. Right. Anyway, um, what was I even saying? Right, all these women here carry guns, so... What the hell? Oh my god, <laughs> she must have saw me. That has never happened to me before. Hmm, that's weird. Right, anyway, um, like I was saying before, I've been studying Chinese, and, uh... You know, getting the pronunciation just right, it's pretty difficult. Especially with with Chinese people. Uh, I mean, not, not just Chinese people, but I think East Asians in general are just really easily impressed whenever a foreigner tries to learn their language, so... 
Right, so over here, the secretary will check on one of Charlie's uh, valuables, the money. Yeah. I don't know what she keeps looking at it for. I mean, she's the only one in the room. She doesn't need to check on it every two seconds. Okay, so the problem is the power is on. And when the power is on, um, you know, if, if we try to open that thing, it'll sound an alarm. That's not good for us. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to turn the power off, obviously. Hold on a second. All right. The power is in here. Just want to wait for a good opportunity to run in there. Ooh, excuse me. Right, so, what was I saying before? Alright, um, I think East Asians are just easily impressed by anyone who tries to learn their language. Because, uh, shit. That's it. Get the fuck out of here. You know, I, my pronunciation's decent, but it's not great. And every time I say anything, they go, oh, wow, oh my god, your Chinese is so good. No, it's not. Alright. So, uh, like I said before, our, uh, our, our night vision binoculars made a disappearing act. I guess 487 didn't think that they were important to have, so I could maybe just threw them off the side of the building. I don't know. But we don't have them anymore, even though I picked them up in the last, the last stage. Doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> so, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat. That's right. Nick Meister is a dirty cheater. Hold on a second. There we go. Nice and bright and easy to see. Kind of reminds me of uh, back when I used to play Fear on the PC. Fear, the game came out in 2005. The multiplayer. Um, the shadows and the lighting was really well done that game, but when it came to multiplayer... What the fuck? How did he see me? How did you see me? God. <laughs> he must have turned up the gamma correction in his game too, huh? Anyway, like I was saying, Fear, great game, great multiplayer, but everyone would turn up the gamma correction, so shadows didn't really make a difference. Okay. Stop following me, you douchebag. A little sliding action here. Alright, so things are tense right now, and Charlie is actually hiding under the water there. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. So... These women kind of look like Amazon-type women, right? They look kind of beefy, right? I mean, I, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I wanted to do it more smooth, but... Hold on a second. Huh. <laughs> Love a raider. That's, that's funny. Oh, it's like the opening of Sin City. I mean, uh, the hard goodbye. The first and best uh, graphic novel, Sin City graphic novel by, by Frank Miller. I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of Frank Miller nowadays. After he went crazy, and after he made uh, after he made that piece of shit, The Spirit came out in 2008. I remember I was still working at the movie theater at the time. We had this huge display. Oh, we gotta wait for the elevator. I think there's gonna be a bunch of security guards. Yeah. Right. There we go. Um. Oh, you know what? I didn't get the money or the statue. I was so focused on murdering everyone. I didn't get those things. Okay. Last time I did the stage, it went much more smoothly. I only killed Charlie. Right, so... For some reason... For some reason, you need to, you need to also need to shoot the stave. And not just hit open. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. Uh, what else? <laughs> oh, there's one of you guys left. Die! Alright. That's probably... Huh. Oh, there are some people still alive. You know what? 
There. Okay. Let's get the statue. Nice. Okay, now we can officially leave. There we go. Nice. We're getting out of here. Sweet. I'm gonna tighten my tie. And I'm sure they'll just let us walk right out of here. No big deal. Right? Right. Hmm. A natural. A natural what? Huh. Okay. So, um, I think that's it. Oh, another cutscene. Okay. Ooh, it's cool. It's like CSI. What is that? Apple juice? It's a helicopter there. Hey, knocked over his apple juice. <laughs> okay. You know, I used to really like apple juice. I, I mean, I guess I still do. I like fruit juice. The only thing is, fruit juice can make you fat. Which kind of explains why I was such a fat little kid when I was young. Right, so, that was the end of the Malaysia levels. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I had a lot of fun, especially after uh, Japan. Hmm. Oh, it's too bad I didn't get to bring the uh, the axe with me, huh? Or the samurai sword. Um, hmm. Let's uh, let's let's do a little target practice with the sawn-off shotgun. Is there any shotgun ammo around here? There we go. Let's go outside and test this baby out. Die, you fucking birds! <laughs> Die, pigs! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! See that shit? You see that shit? I want my fucking money. Alright? I want it. I want my fucking money. Okay? I want it. See what I did to your family? I'll do that to you. All right, I, I think this guy gets the picture. I think he won't fuck with me anymore. I'm Nick Meister, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.